ultra rapid object detection algorithm basics and how to train your machine for particular object to detect a particular object so here we go with the basics uh, the hard wavelet are a square like wavelet sequence which was proposed in 1909 by Alfred Haar and uh, M. Viola and Johns adapted the idea of using hard wavelets and developed the so called hard like features a hard like feature considered adjacent rectangular regions at a specific location in detec detection window uh, sum up, sums up the pixels intensities in each region and calculate the difference between these sums. So this difference is then used to categorize the subtraction of an image. So basically in the detection phase of Viola Jones object detection framework, uh, a window of target size is moved over an image and for each subsection of that image the hard like feature is calculated okay and uh, this difference is then compared to the learned threshold values that separates that separates the non objects and objects so here, here you will have uh, the objects you that you wish to detect and the other one so you will have a lot many hard like features but uh, because such features are only a weak learner or a weak classifier a large number of hard features are required to describe an object with sufficient accuracy so here is the concept of cascading comes into the picture and in violations object detection framework uh, the hard like features are therefore organized in something called a classifier cascade classifier cascade to form a strong classifier or a learner or you can say it uh, boosting or uh, there are a lot many boosting algorithms available so that's for today and let's sum up uh, uh, first thing is hard cascade training is required to detect a specific object of specific domain uh, second is viral zones technique work pretty well yeah for faces and some other tech other categories like aeroplane or car or vehicle other vehicles uh, now before you jump to the training or next session clear up your concept about basics of python because we might need a little scripting to avoid manual work and you might need a vm or a cloud instance uh, because it's a very lengthy and lengthy process and you will need a highly available system machine with high configured ram and cpus and because i do not have one that kind of system so i have to have some vm or instance uh, and it's very cheap right nowadays and yes the last thing is you you have to install opencv and python so that you can get uh, from internet uh, very very easy to install and all that stuff so now uh, we are done for a day So in next video we will start training and we will understand each and every terms which comes into our pathway and thank you for watching see you next time.